Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the admin panel first of all and we have just created the basic admin panel so far in the last 33 videos. Now from this video we are going to start working on the e-commerce related admin panel, e-shop related admin panel that will include the modules, e-shop related modules like the uh, categories, products, attributes, orders, okay, so such kind of modules we are going to cover in the e-commerce related uh, so i'm going to show you first of all like this admin panel we have completed so far the basic admin panel uh, that can be used for any website whether it is e-commerce dating anything okay so we can use this admin panel this is the basic admin panel that we have done so far okay so you can see that uh, this uh, this admin panel contains the basic structure like the dashboard settings you can update the admin password admin details okay it is also having the sub admin feature so that we can give the access uh, like admin can give the access to the sub admin uh, with roles and permission like for some specific uh, use uh, like the uh, and we have also done the cms pages in this admin panel that can be used for any website okay any laravel website so now we have the basic structure of the admin panel now we are going to uh, add the e-commerce letter admin panel okay uh, so we are going to add the modules that the e-commerce website requires okay so we are going to start working on that and uh, the friends uh, who wants to create some other website like dating or some other website can also uh, take my help in their website uh, and i can uh, uh, I can even create their website uh, if they want if they don't have the time okay uh, or I can guide them to create the website uh, you uh, you can always become the uh, stack developer member uh, by opening youtube.com stack developers okay any kind of website like if you have created the admin panel so far and want to create some other website then you can simply join the channel and become the member I will guide you with the code will help you and even can make the website for you if you don't have the time and you want to submit your college project your school project okay so i, I will help you in that also okay so uh, so i will give you the brief intro of the admin panel structure that we are going to make for our e-commerce website okay uh, so uh, we are going to uh, have few of the modules uh, like we are going to have the uh, I will tell you like ecom ecom related modules okay ecom related modules I am talking about okay uh, so which modules we are going to add I am going to tell you okay uh, so like uh, we are going to add the categories module okay uh, I am going to categories module categories okay so this one is the categories module that we are going to add for our uh, in our e-commerce admin panel okay uh, so like in the previous websites we have the sections module as well but now we will not add the sections module but we will add the categories modules of the multiple level category module in which uh, we will add all the categories okay so i will explain you uh, shortly about it uh, so after that we are going to add the products module okay every category is having some of the products okay so we are going to cover the products module as well categories products okay then coupons also we are going to add and one module i forgot that brands brands we are going to add for our product okay so every uh, see every product is having some brand we are going to add the brands for the products okay so coupons brands and orders okay orders will come here in the e-commerce website okay and other than the orders uh filters filters also we are going to add for the products okay filters we are going to add the dynamic filter so see these kinds of uh, modules we are going to add for our ecom related admin panel okay so uh now i'm going to explain you that uh, first module we, we are going to work on the category module this one okay category module and we are going to create the table and insert categories with the help of cedar in this video and before that i'm going to explain you like the categories that we are going to add okay 
so we are going to add the multi level category like uh, uh, if there is one cat can have the two sub categories okay uh, like uh, it will have one sub cat one uh, and sub cat two then again it will have the further categories like this okay so like uh, sub cat uh, two three uh, four, four okay Wh whatever five six seven okay like this so see so one one category is having the multiple categories and those categories again will have the subcategories as well okay suppose uh, i'm going to give you example like we are going to add the uh, the categories like the clothing okay clothing we have added electronics also we have added electronics okay and also we are going to add the appliances appliances okay we're going to add the uh, uh, clothing electronics and appliances and appliances and now suppose uh, uh, we are going to add now the subcategory of clothing uh, so clothing is going to have uh, the subcategories like men okay women as well as the kids okay so men women and kids can have the further categories like men can have uh, t-shirts okay shirts and uh, denim shorts anything okay shorts so these are the subcategories for the men okay so this multi-level uh, we are going to add for the categories okay so we can call it like the first second and third level okay so uh, now we have removed the sections otherwise uh, we have used these one as the section this first one as the section like clothing electronics and appliances but now we are going to use this one as the uh, categories main categories these are the parent categories we can also call them the parent categories okay then uh, this uh, is going to have these subcategories men women and kids and now further these are going to have the sub sub categories okay so we are going to work on the categories module first of all okay so in this video uh, we are going to create table uh, and uh, and after that we are going to insert some dummy categories in that categories table okay uh, so we are going to create the table with the help of the migration and we'll insert the uh, records with the help of the seeder okay so let's start uh, so first of all we are going to create the migration file for creating the categories table okay so we will go to our project folder uh, xamp st docs uh, project 10 this is our folder uh, we will go to services new terminal at folder in mac if you are in windows you know how to run the artisan commands okay php artisan make migration and create categories table so it will create the categories table uh, sorry it will create the migration file for the for the categories table uh, by which we can create the category table okay so we are going to open this uh, migration file create categories table here it is sorry this is not the folder uh, our project folder is project 10 i am going to uh, now i am going to open the file create categories table okay so here we are going to add the columns that we want in our categories table okay so uh, there are columns that we want here i am going to mention uh, those columns here okay i am going to do it like this okay so the columns uh, that i want i am going to mention the columns for the categories table okay categories table columns okay uh, so here i'm going to make it uh, big enough uh, i'm going to increase this font
okay so here we are going to add uh, the columns like uh, id okay parent id okay we will keep uh, in small letter all the columns will be in small uh, okay so after that category name So after that, uh, no issue. Uh, we will keep every column name in small. Okay, don't worry about the capital letter that automatically converting. Okay, category image, then category discount as well. Category discount. Okay, so description. URL meta title meta description okay so meta keywords and status Okay, so these are the columns of the categories table that we are going to create ID, parent ID, category name, category image, category discount, description, URL, meta title, meta description, meta keyword status. Okay, so let's create this, uh, uh, these columns here. Okay, like dollar table. So we are going to take the interior for the parent ID. So after that, uh, we are going to take the string for the category name. And uh, string for the category image as well. Uh, but we are going to take the float for the category discount. Because discount can uh, be in percentage like 1.5, 2, 3, 3.5, 10.5, okay something like this and uh, we are going to take test for the description category description okay so and after that we are going to take the uh, url string for the url okay and i'm going to take few uh, like uh, now seo tags uh, meta tags meta title for the category meta description for the category and meta keywords for the category and after that status okay status can be in one or zero that the status of the category is active or inactive we are going to take the tiny integer for the status okay so this one we can remove so these are the fields we are going to add for the category so we are going to run the php artisan migrate command to create this table php artisan migrate okay so this table uh, can be created here the migration is successful and the table must have been created we are going to check here okay we are going to refresh and we'll see the structure of the project 10 okay so we are going to check here that whether this new table has been created yes the table has been created category is table uh, okay so we are going to check once whether it ha has been created with all the columns yes it has been created with all the columns id parent id category name category image category discount description url meta title meta description meta keyword status and created credit and updated dates uh, that for the dates automatically get created okay so our table is ready now now we can add few of the dummy entries few of the few of the categories uh, like we have mentioned here uh, these few uh, few categories we are going to add with the help of this leader like clothing electronics appliances men women kids okay so these few categories we are going to add with the help of cedar okay so but first of all we are going to create the model as well as the uh, the controller file for the 
category okay so we are going to create first of all the model php artisan make model category model we are going to make category and we are going to create the controller file as well for the category php artisan make controller uh, we are going to uh, follow the naming conventions of the laravel okay okay so according to that we uh, the controller name must be in singular i hope that you have seen my naming convention video of laravel okay if you have not seen then please search my youtube channel uh, you can uh, you can watch that video for the naming convention so it is always a good idea if you will follow the naming convention like uh, you must know that uh, uh, which kind of variable names you need to make or which kind of file name you need to make uh, the name of the controller model okay all these kind of things okay uh, so that uh, uh, in that video everything uh, we have covered okay so now php artisan make controller we are going to create the controller inside the admin folder as the category controller is now uh, the part of the admin right now we are working in the admin panel right now so we are going to create the category controller under admin okay so see it has been created okay so now we are going to create the cedar file so that we can create some dummy uh, dummy we can insert some dummy and categories so we are going to create the cedar file for that php artisan make cedar uh, and category table cedar okay so it has been created we are going to open the file now category table cedar first of all we are going to include the model here category model use app models here we are going to add the category okay and here uh, we are going to insert the category records okay so let's create the category records here category records okay so we are going to create few of the records like uh, uh, first i'm going to do it like this then after that we are going to create few of the records like id one parent id zero okay then category name category name clothing okay so this one is the first category that we uh, uh, we have added we are going to add category image we will not have any image right now we will not add just uh, uh, make it empty then category discount uh, right now we don't have any discount as well uh, we will not add any discount for now so we will make it zero okay then description so for description uh, we are going to add here uh, we will keep it left we, we will uh, not add anything url in url we will add uh, like uh, in small uh, we're going to add the clothing in url okay and then meta title uh, we will not do anything in the meta title we will not add anything for now okay and for the meta description meta description as well we will not add anything for now okay we will uh, keep it uh, empty as well and for the meta keywords as well we will not add anything for now okay we will keep it empty as well but status we are going to make it active uh, as one okay so now now it, it will be easier okay like this we can add as many categories as we want okay so here the id two three four five six okay so uh, first three like we are going to add uh, like we mentioned here uh, first three are clothing electronics and appliances okay first three we are going to add clothing then after that uh, electronics electronics okay and 
after that appliances here we are going to add appliances okay so after that uh, under clothing we are going to add men women and kids okay so here we are going to add men and here women and the last one is kids its url is kids okay so now it is having the parent id see all these three categories men women and kids come under the clothing category so what is the id for the clothing its the id is one so now this one id is the parent of these three categories men women and kids so we will insert here parent id one for all these three okay so i hope it is clear to you okay once we will insert the data i will explain you once again but first of all we're going to insert the data i am not adding this sub sub categories right now because it will confuse you later on i'm going to add it okay but first of all we're going to add the category and sub category level only okay so later on uh, after some videos we are going to add the uh, that uh, sub sub level as well okay don't worry in just few videos we are going to add this one so here we are going to insert these category records okay so i will add uh, this in uh, database seeder database seeder i'm going to call this one uh, okay so i will call now uh, this new class uh, this category table seeder class this one i'm going to call in the database seeder and i'm going to run here uh, the php artisan db seed command php artisan db seed so that we can able to run the seeder to create these entries to insert these categories entries okay these categories we want to insert so that's why but it uh, is having some issue unexpected identifier category okay uh, so i think there is some issue here uh, it is saying the category uh, is uh, having some issue unexpected um, identifier category uh, so see comma i think uh, comma will not come here okay at last so now we are going to run once again and let's hope that this time uh, there must be no issue but again the issue has come unexpected identifier category once again uh, so uh, online 25th okay uh, it is saying here category insert here semicolon will also come i think maybe due to this okay so now uh, we're going to run once again and this time it has done okay seeding database done running done okay you can see now we are going to uh, check uh, here okay categories i'm going to refresh and we'll click on browse to see whether the categories have come up or not okay so uh, let's see uh, the categories come in our categories table yes finally the categories have come up in our categories table with the help of seeder okay so we have added the six categories so far three are the parent categories uh, those are clothing electronics and appliances like i have explained you that these three categories are the parent categories because it does not have any parent id but we have added three more categories that are under the clothing okay clothing category is having the id one so we have added the parent id as one uh, for all these three categories men women and kids like this we are going to manage the categories levels without uh, uh, without having any sections module so it will save a lot of our time uh, otherwise we need to create the section module uh, we will create the add or delete feature and all uh, but it will save our time it will make our task more simple okay so in the next video we are going to display these categories that we have added with the help of seeder in the admin panel in data table okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye